guys, welcome back to another CBC. Today I'll be reviewing the Lego Nexus Knights. Plays Falcon Fighter or Blaster. Uh, this set is set number 70351. This set has 523 pieces. This set has... Uh, really, one minifigure, but if you include... Clay, Claybot, Grim, Grimrock, and Brickster, and the other spiky guy. It's that. Here it is. So yeah, let's get to the minifigures. So first up we have Clay. Angry face. It's like happy face, I don't know. I don't know. Which you this sword. There's a holder for it. There it is. Sword. It's kind of quite big for a sword, but yeah. And then shield. It's right there. There's clay. And there is a sticker on here. Stick that up. And you could uh, do what you want to do with Clay. You can uh, easily sit him in there. Just close it. And then there is this one hatch that does open, and I don't know why. But you can put something or someone in there. And then we have this, uh, what's his name? It doesn't have a name, but it's like this spiky thing. I don't know. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments below. But yeah. And then they have the Brickster. Right there with the whacking thing, clobber, I don't know. And they have Grimrock, which... Makes me want to say Grimlock from the Transformers movie. It does have this thing that spins and he's holding one of the forbidden powers. The skeleton. It looks like a chicken wing or a fish or chicken drumstick. His head does move. And then they gave me an extra set of these wings. So... I don't know why, but they gave me an extra set of wings. I can easily stand up. I can even stand on my hand. But yeah, you can just send them down. So now to the Clay's Falcon Fighter. But before I do that, there's a clay bot. Oh no! I thought there was double printing like uh Clay, uh, the clay's rumble blade or whatever it's called. And then there is a chest back here. For there is another forbidden power with the pumpkin. It makes me want to think of Halloween now, cause it's getting close to Halloween. It's pretty soon it's gonna be September. Um, there is a stud shooter. I think you just twist it. There's nothing on the back to dial. There's um that. But what's cool is if you find a good place to hold it, yes, like I did, um, you, if you push this in, if you push the cockpit in, the wings expand like that. And I would be careful because when I was building this, I did it wrong because it's supposed to be flat like that. I did it really bad. Well, not that bad, but I messed it up. But the wings do look like that. It's cool. And these do look like his swords, if you look carefully at them. They look like his swords. Which makes me think they do. I'm not sure if Lego's going to do like a buildable figure like they did with Stormtroopers. The Stormtrooper and all that. But yeah, that's that. Um, there are some stickers. Four by four tiles. Here's the back. Like, here's the mechanism that I was talking about. Like that. 
pretty simple. And the back can actually detach, but you want to be careful. So, what you want to do... There. Now it's off. It was a little difficult. But, yes. Sorry about the dog. Or whatever it is. But, yeah. This comes off. No, it wasn't the dog. Sorry, it's my brother. Not the squealing. No, well, I don't know what that squealing or barking that was. Maybe if it was a dog or not. But, sorry about that. The background noise. It awfully loud here, but then you can reattach the robot to back like so. And you can just snap it on like that. So yeah, that's that. Um, that was this was. Next one tonight, Clay's Falcon Fighter Blaster. Hope you enjoy. Um, and yeah, bye guys. Thank you for watching.